might be trying to figure out how you can pair up your Xbox Series X or S controller to your specific Android tablet. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your Bluetooth connection settings of your specific Android tablet. So what you can do here is you can make your way over to your settings application. So go and find settings, which for me is right up here. And then what you want to do is you want to go and click on Bluetooth, which is right there. And you just want to basically stay on this panel for a little bit of time. Now what you want to do here is you want to go and make your way over to your Xbox controller and all you want to do is hold down two buttons. For one, make sure you have you know charge or your batteries in there. Hold down the Xbox button here and the share button that's on the top left. So hold down both these buttons and you'll start to see that this blue like, white light will start to blink rapidly. Now what you want to do is you want to go and make your way back over to your Android tablet. You might want to go and click scan. So go and click scan up there now you can see that my controller I think did actually pair up to the specific Android tablet or maybe it paired up to another device around me. So I'm going to go ahead and have to redo it. So I'm going to hold down these two buttons right here and while I'm holding them down I'm going to go and click scan again and then hopefully as you can see it does detect my Xbox wireless controller. So now all I have to do is go and pair up right there and now you can see that it is actually accepting my pairing request so I can click pair and now you should see that the light at the very top will stop a blinking once it's paired up up here. And then as you can see, sometimes you have to try multiple times, but your controller should then be detected. And then all you have to do here is if you go and move around with your specific controller here, you should be able to see that it's detectable. And now you can go and play the games that you want to. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.